Namaskar and welcome to News You Can Use. I'm Lisa and I'm here to make sense of a lot of the personal finance news headlines through the week and how they impact your money life. Last week we touched upon a lot of the headlines which you can ignore. Mostly these are related to market movement, which sectors to invest, what our FII is doing, uh, stuff like that. And those are headlines which really don't impact your long-term finances uh, and hence uh, can be ignored. So uh, this week I have a few, not a lot, and surprisingly not a lot on markets, uh, etc. Because I guess markets are settling and stable and so, you know, there are no uh, sort of sensational headlines. But the first one that I wanted to talk to you about was around credit card additions, record high loans, hint at pickup in consumption. Now, uh, which is great for the economy, maybe if uh, consumption is going up. And you might think that's great, you know, I'm a credit card user as well, and this is going to be, I'm, I'm contributing to this consumption in the economy. However, uh, credit cards and loans used for consumption can be detrimental if you're not paying back on time, if you're paying interest, or if you're piling up too many of those kind of loans. Be careful, don't necessarily have to put consumption on loan. Uh, spend what you have, what you can. If you are using a credit card, then make sure that you repay on time. Don't get carried away uh, by uh, being able to buy on a loan because ultimately if you keep doing that, then it will uh, impact your personal finances more negatively than positively. Okay, the other thing is around um, fixed income investing this time. It says investors turn to T-bills, GSECs as banks delay deposit rate hikes. So we've been talking about this delay in deposit rate hikes. Uh, there have been headlines around repo rate hike. And some banks hiking their deposit rates, but by a very, very small margin, whereas the repo rate has been hiked, uh, uh, you know, nearly one and a half percent. I think deposit rates are up only 20, 30 basis point. And we know that as Indians and as savers, a lot of our money is lying in fixed deposits. So really loan rates are going up, uh, but deposit rates are not. So this headline seems to suggest that investors prefer then uh, treasury bills issued by the government and uh, long-term securities issued by the government known as government securities because deposit rates are not high and these the, uh, the rates of government securities actually track the uh, repo rate. So if the repo rate is going up, you will see higher yields on government securities. However, um, in my opinion, uh, the, the GSEC uh, investment, which is a good investment for some of us, uh, is not a replacement for fixed deposits. Yeah, people uh, put money in fixed deposits for different reasons. One of the main reasons is safety of capital at any point in time. So you don't expect the uh, money you put in fixed deposits to for the value to move up and down. You are just waiting for that interest which you will pocket and you know your money to kind of grow. Uh, but if you are going to invest in T bills and in GSEX, you can do that directly through RBI's portal. What is going to happen is that they are listed securities and the value will go up and down on a daily basis. Are you ready to see that kind of volatility in the money that you would otherwise keep in a fixed deposit which will remain quite safe and secure as far as the capital value is con concerned on any given day? Uh, G6 can actually make for a great investment for somebody who wants to have it as part of their long-term debt allocation. But the important thing is that if you are buying GSEX are deep, like for a specific tenure, so if you're buying a five-year GSEC or a 10-year GSEC, then you must remain invested for the entire period. Treasury bills also come for specific tenures and you have to remain invested for that period. If you want to take your money out in between, there is a possibility that you could be facing some kind of negative returns as well because they are listed and they do see this interim volatility. So again, in my opinion, it's not a replacement, uh, but you can think about building an allocation to GSEX as an alternative in your debt portfolio and not having everything in fixed deposits. So that is a possibility. Okay, what next? So um, yeah, so there, the GST council has put across some changes in GST rates and some of this is not bad news. Some medical equipment is actually uh, lowered the GST so you know it'll come cheaper to you but a lot of it is not good news firstly your prepackaged food is going to become more expensive as GST has been high then certain small things in your bank checkbook issuances uh, will have that uh, a higher GST as well but more importantly food again so um, there is a GST hike from 5% to 18% in machinery used to grind grains to sort out um, 
you know fruits and vegetables uh, to do that kind of uh, work those kind of machines so what's going to happen is your processed uh, packaged food uh, is going to become more expensive because gst has been hiked to 18% which was earlier 5% to 12% uh, along with inflation this kind of hike in gst um, is probably going to affect your grocery bill quite negatively so keep an eye out for how that is changing over the next few months your grocery bill that is how that is changing over the next few months so the gst news is uh, important to your you know money because it, it will affect rather directly even though it's called an indirect tax okay so the last thing i want to talk about is the tax which is going to be effective on uh, cryptocurrencies anything above a transaction of rupees 10000 will attract a 1% tax deducted at source that can be quite a uh, you know negative for people who are uh, trading and transacting in cryptos because you don't want that immediately that money will go away anyway the returns are so volatile on top of that if 1% is deducted immediately it can be um, uh, you know quite a dampener so that is coming into effect from 1st of july uh, if you're a crypto investor, trader, etc., then keep an eye out for that. It's not clear how it will be executed, whether, uh, you know, the exchange will deduct it or how it will be done. But uh, that is something definitely to watch out for in the coming week. Okay, that's it from me for now. Uh, stay tuned to News You Can Use for more sort of unbundling of personal finance news headlines. Thank you for watching.